subject, along with all of prophecy, that you have looked at quite a bit. And so we want to break this down, help people understand it. Uh, and the other thing, too, the Orthodox bishop um, and Orthodox bishop in Ukraine also had something to say about this that sort of put it in the headlines. He said that Putin um, essentially is a modern-day Antichrist. And so that got a lot of people, again, sort of thinking, wondering on this topic. Let's start there. What is the Antichrist? Well, the Antichrist is talked about in Scripture. The word Antichrist occurs about five times. Of course, he's known by many other names, but he's depicted as an end times figure who will arrive in the last days, uh, who will be in prominence during the, uh, the last seven years of Earth's history. And he will basically be a global leader. He'll be the global leader of the planet. And it's very interesting that how people would characterize Putin as Antichrist because the Antichrist actually arrives on the scene. His prominence is not through invasion or through war, really, but it's through peace, a platform of peace. I mean, Revelation 6, 1 uh, makes that clear that he comes with a bow but no arrows. And Daniel 9, 27. Let's check this out. What did he say? He <clears throat> says he really kind of launches it. Uh, who will be in prominence during the uh, last seven years uh, of Earth's Putin. history. And he will basically be a global leader. He'll be the global leader of the planet. The one who writes the very White House in Revelation. would characterize Putin as Antichrist because the Antichrist actually arrives on the scene. His prominence is not through invasion or through war, really, but it's through peace, a platform of peace. I mean, Revelation 6, 1 uh, makes that clear that he comes with a bow but no arrows and Daniel 9 Revelation 6 1 <clears throat> I looked and there before me was a white horse it, uh, its rider held a bow and he was given a crown and he rode out a conqueror bent on con conqueror Whoa. America, are you so, ready? Are you ready for the new situation? You are not ready for the new this, situation. This uh, riding white horse is is Putin, according to this man. I watch it. So then I watch as the lamp opened. One of the no, this is not uh, Revelation six one. So he is mentioned in the Holy Bible. I looked and there before According me was man. a white horse. Its rider held a bull and he that was is given the crown. Uh, he rode out. Uh, it's mentioned in the Holy Bible. Bent on conquest. The revelation. The lamp opened the second seal. The head, the second. The Russian president. The Russian say, come. So this is Vladimir one of Putin. the four horses. He's riding a white horse, and this man just called Putin. Uh, the man who is no riding the white horse. Daniel 9.27 says he really kind of launches this is his career MSM. based on a peace covenant this that he makes with Western Jewish media, people in people. So he really, in that sense, is really unlike the Antichrist. Like 147 countries are right now deploring Putin's invasion of Ukraine. So not welcomed by the world like a savior, but more uh, like put down like the bully that he is. Yeah, well, that's that's the interesting thing here. And hearing you say that, let's just dig into that a little bit more. You know, you've, you've got the majority of the world united, which never happens. It feels like you've got only five nations that are, including Russia, um, siding with Russia right now. Everybody else is, is looking at this, and they're pretty horrified by it. Um, and so when people say, because obviously when we talked about Gog and Magog, the belief that many have that Magog, Russia, would be the place where the Antichrist would come from, when people say to you, oh, it's got to be Putin, it's definitely Putin, um, and I know there are people who believe that, you would respond with what? Well, I would just say that Revelation 13, 1 says that the Antichrist will rise out of the sea, which many take that to mean the area around the Mediterranean. Oh, it's lying again. It is not about the Antichrist, it's about the beast. The beast and the Antichrist are not the same person or the same entity or the same deity. You are defending this guy because you are you have a let's see this one has come out of retirement to offer us his thoughts on the Russian invasion of Ukraine and you're not going to be surprised to learn his defending. thoughts are absolutely 
moronic. The, I think you can say, well, Putin's on that, his mind. Yes, maybe so. At the same time, he's what's happening compelled. for a purpose. My God, he, he went into the Ukraine, but that wasn't his goal. His goal was to move against Israel ultimately. And God is getting ready to do something amazing. And that will be fulfilled. And what Putin is doing by moving as he is to set up uh, Ukraine as, as a uh, staging ground for one of the armies. And then across is, is Erdogan at uh, Turkey. And, and you've got between them that little Dardanelles so, area. So. And it's going to happen. President so Vladimir Putin is uh, is working up. for God. Is Putin crazy? Is he mad? Well, perhaps. But God says, I'm going to put hooks in your jaw. So, these two, two guys, let's, uh, let's hear. That to mean the area around the Mediterranean Sea or the old so Roman they, Empire. So, these guys are denying so that really they more so a European yeah. origin than yeah, it is a yeah. Islamic or a Russian uh, origin. Agenda. So I would place the Antichrist more among the Sea of Gentiles and the Rye Revival. Because America is happening now.